Howdy class. Um, here's our first of three primers in this module. And here in this primer, uh, we're, we're going to cover these three tasks. First, lambda functions. Lambda functions are a way to rapidly declare a very um, efficient and lean function that can either be reused if it's declared or it can just be a throwaway function uh, used in line. And so we'll look at both of those uh, uh, examples. Uh, and then also we'll look at the, um, the map method and the filter method. Uh, both of these are outstanding for um, uh, altering the contents of, an, of a list, for example, um, in uh, a way that will go member-wise member -wise, uh, application of that function. And then filter will let us then uh, take any kind of a list and filter out values, uh, and that would give us then the ability to process that filtered list separately. All right, so let me start here. I've got some code. First of all, let me show you where it is in, um, uh, in Canvas. And I'm going to first start with this file here, this code from Video Primer on Lambda Functions Map and Filter. Okay, now I'm going to actually use a, uh, a Jupyter notebook uh, to demonstrate this. And it's just uh, sort of the same thing as a, a command line or an idle uh, presentation of Python code. Uh, it gives us the ability to uh, execute just small snippets of code uh, rather than running an entire Python script uh, and then trying to you know, parse the output. Um, uh, this is a great way to just have a couple lines of code. You run it and see what the output is, and then you run to the next one. Uh, we'll do a little work uh, before the midterm on Jupyter Notebooks, just so that we're, we're familiar with it. Uh, and that's because it's just so prevalent out in the marketplace. Um, uh, everybody is using Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, it's a great way to, um, uh, to combine um, presentation text and presentation, you know, even graphics, uh, embedded files uh, with actual Python code that will run. All right, so let's start here. Uh, we with the um, uh, with this cell right here. I'm going to highlight it, and this simply creates a starter list for us to work with. Just the values one through nine inclusive, and then we have a, a little function definition uh, called double one, and this will simply uh, double whatever the argument is that it sent and return that doubled value. Now it, it's interesting that. This function here, you know, when we use the, the def keyword and create a function that way, you know, we have an unlimited number of lines for declaring that function. Now, what a lambda function does for us is it lets us just really compact and compress all of that. Um, it lets us uh, create a function on the fly in one line of code. And it's gonna work best for these very simple types of functions that will uh, simply return a value based on a calculation or maybe a value based on you know, uh, uh, some light manipulation. Um, so in this case here, that double code could easily be transformed into a Lambda function. And let's take a look at, at how we would do that. Okay, I'm first going to go back to here. And now we're sharing on the uh, on the iPad, and let me let me first jot down you know what that definition was for the doubling function, and that was this. Nice and simple. It receives x as a parameter and it returns two times X or you know, X times two for that. Now, a way to convert this to a Lambda function uh, is gonna be just sort of a one line rearrangement of these parts. Uh, let me first jot down what that would be. Now this, uh, this function we'll call double two. And then the first thing we do is just simply invoke the uh, Python reserve keyword Lambda. And then we just do some rearrangement here. And let me do this 
uh, in the color blue. Uh, but the first thing that we do here is we list the arguments or the inbound you know, data. And if we remember right, you know, this function here just takes one piece of input. It's going to receive one argument. Uh, so that's what we would write here, just what the inbound argument is, what the parameter of this function is. Then we put a colon, and this then separates the, uh, the inbound parameter with the processing of that parameter. Then what we do here for this next part, and I'll do this in red, is that we just take this formula that we're applying to every value and we pop that right here. And that's it. That is gonna create this Lambda function for us. And we can call it just as though we had created a normal, uh, I'll say a fully developed uh, sort of a legacy function called double two, uh, it will function exactly the same way. So if we were to uh, say print, and then let's call double two, and then give it some value, let's say five, uh, then you bet the output's gonna be 10 here. So let's go to, back to our Jupyter Notebook and see that in action now. And here right at the very top is what we had just written. And notice how uh, this is just gonna be a simple rearrangement of this code uh, into this code. Now, the key thing to remember is calling the keyword Lambda. And then the first set of syntax elements are all the inbound parameters or what we send as arguments to the function. Then we've got the colon. And then after that is the code that will process each of those inbound values. So here in this case, um, when we call double five, it's going to receive five as the value or, or as the, uh, uh, the parameter. So that X becomes five. What gets returned is five times two or 10. And that then will get assigned to the variable uh, double two here. So when we print this out, we in fact get this parameter or this uh, output of 10. Now I wanted to show next um, what we think might work, but it actually doesn't. What I wanna do is I wanna take that original list of values one through nine, and I wanna double every value. I mean, instead of one, two, three, four, I wanna see about, I wanna see go two, four, six, and set, et cetera, all the way up to, uh, to 18. Now we would think that if we would just create code like this, that would call that double two function, let me pull that back up here. That's just the Lambda function that's gonna operate on whatever uh, it is, um, that it would simply double every value, but it doesn't because in this case, we're sending it a Python list. So it's gonna, yep, it's gonna do exactly what we told it to do. It's gonna take that Python list and double it, meaning copy it and append one to the other. And now we have then a list of one through nine and then an, another one through nine. And you'll see here when we run this code that that's precisely what happens. Uh, here in the output, we get one through nine, one through nine. And again, that's because the code did exactly what we told it to do, but we gave it a Python list as an argument rather than individual elements. So it just took that list and doubled it. How does it double a list? It doesn't double it member-wise. It instead doubles it by the entire list. So that's not what we wanted to do. So let's sort of discard that idea here. There's gotta be something better that we can do. Uh, and there is. And we can use the map function in Python uh, to do this purpose. Uh, again, our, our goal here was to take that original list of one through nine and just simply double every element in a member-wise fashion. So we would get two, four, et cetera, up to 18. Well, map is gonna let us do that. Here's the code for map. And what it does is it takes 
two arguments. One is a function, and that function can either be, I'll call it legit prepared, meaning a normal everyday function definition, uh, or it can be a lambda function that we just defined you know, on the fly. Uh, so in this case, it's gonna use double two as our function. So let's go back up and just review what double two is. And it is it was that lambda function that we had created here. A lambda function that will simply double the value sent to it. So that's the function we'll use. And then the next parameter is, or the next uh, our argument necessary is, well, what list are we going to operate on? And if we give it a list, then it will, you know, it'll process that whole list. Uh, so we'll use our original list one. If we remember that was way up here at the top of our code was when we declared that list one. So let me run this file here and you'll see, hey, look at that. We get the exact output that we were uh, trying to go for here where, where we just simply doubled every single number. So how did that work? Okay, well, first, we called this map function, gave it its two proper arguments, okay? The function we wanna to apply to every member of this list. Uh, then what we did, you know, that returns, you know, the map function returns uh, really just an, an iterable. Um, and we can't do much with that unless we convert that to, uh, to something that we can uh, manipulate. So, using the list method and putting that as an argument is gonna do that. It's gonna take that and convert it to just a normal everyday Python list. And in this case, then assign it here to doubled list. And then you can see here, we'll just print out doubled list and that's the, uh, uh, the great output that we get. Okay, well, let's keep going. This time, rather than um, creating a lambda function that we assigned to a variable name, and, and that means that we can then call it just like a normal function. Here, we're gonna just declare an, a quick, a super quick inline function, something to apply quick and dirty, one line only. Uh, we're not gonna need to reuse this. We just need to, uh, to get this code to work. So that's where we can declare it in line. And again, you know, this map function here is gonna take two parameters. One is the function name, and the other is the list to which we'll apply that function. Except in this time, rather than a function name as simple as double two, like we saw up here earlier, uh, we're actually gonna create a function on the fly, a Lambda function. So it will take one value, X, that's gonna be the inbound parameter. And it's gonna then return that function, or I'm sorry, that value cubed. And we'll use the power function for that, the built-in uh, Python POW function uh, that takes two parameters, the base and the exponent. So X to the power of three is gonna cube that. Uh, and then again, the map function takes that second argument as the list that we're gonna apply it to. Then we're gonna wrap this whole thing in a list We'll call that list cubed, and then we will print out that here. So let's run this cell, and you'll see that we get this glorious output uh, where each of the original values is now cubed. Uh, one, two, three, suddenly went to one, eight, 27, 81, and, and so on, or, or, or uh, 64, and so on. So uh, that is a, uh, a good demo of a very common use for an inline function. You don't want to go up and create a whole new function. Um, instead, you want to just do it on the fly. Now, there's some efficiency gains to be realized for doing so. When you create a function, it actually does uh, push quite a bit of data and operations onto the, the, the stack, onto the processing stack. And it creates uh, memory obligations. Uh, to reserve the name of that function. And it reserves then references to the function and references to all the arguments. So that's a lot of overhead. Um, what this does here instead is just creates it on the fly at runtime rather than at compile time. And it just simply 
applies a mathematical formula to each of these elements rather than actually calling a specific function, which again, places a burden onto the stack. So that's, that, uh, that's the efficiency uh, gain to be seen with, uh, with these inline uh, lambda functions. All right, so now we wanna go and um, we wanna try the original idea that we had, and that was to use uh, these new tools to just duplicate, uh, or I'm sorry, to double each element of that original array. So we will use this map function again. We're gonna call the double two function that we had created up above. And again, that was the lambda function double two up here. We, we will uh, use it on list, uh, uh, list one. And then you can see here when we run this, uh, that we get that beautiful output of each element uh, that has done a member-wise doubling. Every single element has been doubled. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, let's int introduce one last method, and that is the filter method. A filter will take a list, and you guessed it, filter out values from that that we can then use in some other operation or manipulation. So here, let's first just look at um, the code here for filter. It, it takes uh, two arguments. One is what the filter function is gonna be. And then the other is, well, what list will it apply that function to? So here for this filter function, what we're gonna do with this highlighted code is we're going to say, okay, here's a quick and dirty lambda function. Only give me values that are even from that original list. And then assign those to a new list called new list. So let's again, pick this apart carefully. The filter function takes those two arguments, the function and the list. It will then return an iterable which then needs to be wrapped into a list with the list function here. Then we're gonna take all of that output, which is the new Python list, and then assign it to the variable new list. So here, when we print new list, uh, it will print exactly that, two, four, six, eight. We, we got just the even elements out of this original starter list, just the even ones. Uh, now here's a, another quick demo right below it is that, okay, we wanted to get those uh, even, no, I'm sorry, this time we wanna get the odd elements. We wanna get the one, three, five, seven, nine. So this first statement here is gonna do uh, exactly that. It's, it's, it's taking that code that we just looked at in the cell above this and instead is using well, if x modded by two equals one, which means if it's odd, well, then we will uh, filter that out and, and make it a member of new list. Uh, then here, I'm gonna combine things and I'm gonna take that, uh, that new list and simply double that. So I would expect the one, three, five, seven, nine to become a two, six, 10, 14, 18. So, we will apply this map function to this new list uh, to again, in a member-wise fashion, apply that function double two uh, to each of these elements. And then we'll print it and sure enough, we get uh, those exact values that we were expecting. So that's a quick demo of uh, Lambda functions in two presentations, one as a formal reusable uh, and yet very efficient one line of code um, function. And then the other way is as a, a really rapid inline function. And then apart from that, we took a, a brief look at map and filter functions uh, and how we can use those to, to manipulate our data even further. Okay, hope this helped gang and uh, we'll talk to you soon.